Desk collection, especially in a basement workshop, is extremely important. Today, I'm going to show you how I built this desk collection system. I started this vacuum collector project out by cutting a bunch of 1x4s that I had laying around the shop into 24 inch pieces and then screwing them to the ceiling. I did this so that I could attach these pipe hangers here to the ceiling without them ripping out of the sheetrock under the weight of the PVC. So these are kind of supports that help distribute the weight over a larger surface area and more screws. I made sure to leave the pipe hangers a little dangly so I could insert the PVC into them. Once I had the PVC cut to size, I mocked up my layout to make sure all the PVC was cut to the correct length. My hangers were in the correct location, and I had all the fittings that I need. Because if you're like me, you're always missing some sort of fitting that requires about 15 different trips to the hardware store. It was at this point in the project that my ADD started to kick in, so I decided that I should have an asthma moment and vacuum the floor underneath where my drill press was. You can see this gigantic mess, but it's very cathartic, isn't it? It's almost like power washing, except I didn't draw inappropriate pictures in the dust first. I ended up in the hardware store where various adapters and fittings just magically managed to find their way into my cart. And here I'm attaching these rubber PVC cupboard thingies that are 3 inch to the 4 inch blast gate. So I put some soap around the rubber coupling, that way I could kind of force it on there, maybe. Uh, yeah, I get it here eventually, I think. These blast gates slide open and close in order to direct airflow. This will close off sections of the dust collector in order to make the entire thing more efficient. I basically separated this in between the table saw and the miter saw. At some point I might add others, but these are my two major dust producing pieces of equipment. So getting them under control will help immensely with the massive amount of dust that literally gets everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean literally everywhere. The last little step I had to do here was hook this vacuum hose up to the dust collector. There was a lot of screwing hoses in this project that made me wonder whether or not I should have started an OnlyFans instead of a YouTube channel. I don't think that my wife would approve though, so I'll just stick to the woodworking. But speaking of OnlyFans, there is this massive gaping hole in the back of my table saw. In order to direct the airflow, I cut down a piece that would be a cover for this hole. After ripping to width on the table saw, I came over to the miter saw to cut the piece down to size. In order for it to fit, I had to make some cutouts for the motor mount. Once installed, this should help create a vacuum inside of the table saw. The result will be a pressure differential in between the atmosphere or the room and the inside of the table saw which should cause airflow from the room through the throat plate on the table saw, down into the cabinet of the table saw, up through the PVC pipe, and finally into the dust collector. And here's the finished product. It's not the prettiest, but I think it'll work. Please excuse the dirty lens that's making this look like a telenovela. To help collect dust coming off the trailing edge of the saw blade, I drilled a little hole in the back of the throat plate on my table saw, I needed a way to collect the dust coming off the miter saw. So I started cutting pieces of 1x4 to make a frame to go around the miter saw. I drilled a bunch of pocket holes in the 1x4s to make a cube that would be placed around the miter saw. I like using these locking C-clamps to keep things from twisting or separating while screwing together these pocket holes. And I made the frame too big. It's at this point in my projects that I usually ponder the existential questions. What is the meaning of life? How did I get here? How did I screw up so bad?
Continuing down this path of self-reflection won't help me fix my problems, so I decided that I needed to just take the frame apart, shorten it up, and fix it. To save myself from any further embarrassment, I'll go ahead and cut to the fixed frame, and then we can forget this ever happened. And it fits first try! I'm so good! Look at this! It's just perfect! I couldn't be more ecstatic about how great of a carpenter I am. Thumbs up. To finish off this box, I needed to rip down several sheets of scrap OSB that I have laying around the shop. I have a lot of excess sheet products that I really need to get used up. So this is a great opportunity to use some in a productive way. I finished this box by mounting these pieces of OSB to the three exterior sides uh, leaving the top and the bottom open and the front where the saw will go. I drilled a hole in the top piece with a 4 inch hole cutting bit and then traced the inside of the dust collection adapter with the pencil. I cut out the rest of the hole with the jigsaw until the dust collection adapter fit pretty snug. After that I duct taped the adapter in, made sure that it was Pretty snug and airtight. Then I caulk the inside of the box. For extra reassurance, I caulked around the top of the dust collection adapter, and then finally mounted the top to the miter saw collector. And now it's time to test my build. And while it's definitely not the most attractive box, like Red Green used to say, if they don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. And then really all there was left for me to do is hook up these hoses, drill a hole in the back for the power cord, cover up the little gap on the bottom, and then give it a whirl. In this gorgeous slow motion shot here, you can see that the majority of the dust coming off the blade is getting sucked up into the dust collector. This is where I get to sit back and enjoy all the hard work that I just did. Except I'm not quite done. For the last piece of the project here, I'm putting aluminum tape on the outside of the PVC that will help ground the PVC so it doesn't build up a lot of static. I know that these systems, since they have really small particles of sawdust inside them, really like to build up static. That can be a bit of a hazard uh, if you've ever seen a grain silo blow up from too much static electricity. You'll understand what I'm talking about here. Uh, so I just took a piece of copper wire uh, taped it to the aluminum tape there, and then attached it to the casing on the dust collector. As you can see here in this final shot, now my work is done, and the dust collector works beautifully. Thanks for joining us today. Catch you next time.